Find the area between the curves, y equals x, y equals zero, x equals one, and x equals three. Let's go ahead and work through its solution. We'll start by drawing a rough sketch of the area that we're looking for. So let's draw the xy plane. So here's the y-axis, and here is the x-axis. This will be x, and this will be y. And the line y equals x looks like this. The line y equals zero is on the x-axis, so it's this red line here. And the lines x equals one and x equals three are vertical lines. Maybe here's one and maybe here's three. So they're vertical lines. And I'm just gonna stop drawing them when I hit the line y equals x. And I'm going to start drawing them at y equals zero. So you can see this enclosed region here in yellow is the area we're looking for. So we're going to use integration to find this area. So if you were to draw a rectangle like this in white, the height of the rectangle would be x. Right? You think of y equals x as your function, f of x equals x. No matter where you draw the rectangle between one and three, the height of the rectangle is x. So the area is going to be equal to the definite integral, and we're integrating from one to three of x, which is our function, which tells us the height of the rectangle, dx. And again, no matter where we draw the rectangle, its height is x, and the height varies as x varies from one to three. So this gives us the area. So to integrate this, we're going to use the power rule from calculus. It says that if you have x to a power, as long as that power is not negative one, you add one to the exponent and you divide by the result. So this will be equal to, there's a one here in the exponent, one plus one is two, and we divide by the result. And then you draw a bracket or a line and you write the bottom number on the bottom and the top number on the top. Then you plug in the top number first. This will be three squared over two. You subtract and then you plug in the bottom number. So one squared over two. Three squared is nine. So we have nine over two minus, and then one squared is one. So one over two. We end up with eight over two, which is equal to four. And that would be the area of this enclosed region here you see in yellow. Hopefully you've learned some calculus in this video, and if you feel you have, make sure to check out more videos. Until next time, good luck.